is Don, and he's the owner of Birch Pipe Media, and he's trying to get ready for his end of the summer event with his co-workers. It says right here he doesn't want to look lame af to his employees, so that's our department. We should have this covered. Yes. Y'all, looking at his profile, we've got a lot of work to do. Is that a Batman meme? Oh. oh. Oh, he's posting about Motley Crew. Do you guys even know who they are? Oh, no. What? Uh, he's saying YOLO, y'all. He's oh. saying YOLO. Oh. Oh. More he like Ono, oh, no, am I right? <laughs> yes. Guys. Well, y'all, let's get started. Let's get started, right, let's yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Don. I'm here to help you with your social skills. We need to get you where you can talk to people and make you seem cool. You know what I'm saying? So, first things first. When you walk into that event, you need to yell something. Make sure everyone knows that you're there. So sometimes I like to say, how'd that taste? It's like, you know how when you go into Chili's and you want to walk in and say, how'd that taste? Some topics of conversation should be what you do in the bathroom, what you like to do in the bathroom, your dreams and your emotions. People love that. Talk about, talk about alcohol, talk about drinking, talk about partying. When people come up to talk to you, you don't ever want to look at them because they should be happy and lucky that they're talking to you and this gives off the feel that you're like at a higher social standing. Right, Melissa? So, I mean, I And always, I... always interrupt someone when they're talking in mid-sentence. I, mean, I don't know if I follow this. Like, so I, if I walk into Chili's to essentially announce like, how'd that taste? Exactly. Without making eye contact. Interrupting yep. constantly. Yep, this is exactly, this is how you become cool. This works? You get attention, and that's the main thing. That's what you want. So, do you have a Twitter account? Yeah, I'm on Twitter. Okay, so like how much Twitter clout do you have? Uh, Twitter clout? Like how many followers? Or? You should at least have 300 Twitter clout. Usually, you know, people will tell you that you have clout. Have people told you you have clout? No. Okay, well that's not good. We're just, we're just going to move on to something else. Okay. So, next thing I want to discuss is memes. How many memes do you post a day? Probably none. You should at least be posting 22 a day. 22? Yes. Memes? Yes. Per day? Yes. And they should at least get 40 to 50 likes, or you have to delete them. Have you ever eaten a Tide Pod? A what? A Tide Pod. No. Well, they're organic, they're vegan, and they're cruelty-free, so I really think you should try it. It's all the rage in Dallas. I mean, they're really good, aren't they? Yeah, you have to try it. And the last advice that I'm going to leave you with is when in doubt, always use a Spongebob meme. Okay, so are you excited? This is all about fashion. Do you have like a style icon currently? I'm going to guess you don't. Okay, so we got some clothes for you to try on and we're just going to go for it. Okay. 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 No. I hate that. I hate that a lot. Uh, you're giving me dad at Disney World vibes, and that is not what we're going for. So, try again. Okay. I don't hate it, but it's a little too much. Like, very fancy dinner at Chili's type outfit. So, I think we just need to tone it down a little bit. But I might have an idea, so just... But I think we're just missing one element. Okay. Can you just do the French tuck for me? The what? The, the French tuck. Tuck my shirt in. Yeah, the front. Just the front. A French tuck. Uh, do they just call this a tuck in France? This is it. Okay, well... I mean, this is all I can do for you. So, Don, what is a cool movie to you? Oh, Patton. How old is that? I don't know, maybe 50 years, 40 years. Okay, so a cool movie has to be released within the past year. So the other thing about how people like approach pop culture now is it defines their whole life. So if you're in a situation and it, you're trying to relate to people, just say like, this is like, name of the movie so like if you're driving in a car like this is like ladybird or if you're in a pool it's like this is like ladybird most things are like ladybird that's a good one to use a question that i have for you then would be 
I hear that the thing with kids today is Netflix and chill. Absolutely not. Netflix and chill is dead. Now it is Netflix and Chili's. It's when you go on a date to Chili's, but both of you don't talk to each other. You just watch Netflix on your phone while at Chili's. Doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose of a date? No, because you're Netflix and Chili's. So we're truly in a kind of pop culture like war zone right now. There's a lot of kind British bears dominating the landscape. You've got Paddington, you've got Winnie the Pooh, and eventually you're going to have to choose a side. So do your research um, and make sure you choose the side. Between Winnie the Pooh and, and Paddington. Paddington, it's the most important thing. So what are you even doing here? What do I do with this? All right, let's see what Dawn's up to. Whoa! Oh, Dawn! Yes! Woo! Oh, he's I'm doing so it, proud. he's doing it. Guys, we did that! We did it! We did it! I'm so proud of us. I'm so proud of us. We changed his whole life. His whole oh. life! God, we are amazing. 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 His I'm whole life. so proud of us. Like, so proud. He's like a different person now. Yeah, absolutely. I know. A better person. A better person. Because yeah. of us. Better, better. Yes. Hey, uh, you guys want to go to Chili's? Yeah. So, basically, um, I'm just going to go be me uh, at this party because uh, these guys were zero help. Nine. Uh, if I could sum it up, I would say they are about as ripe as this avocado, which is not ripe at all. <laughs>